Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him, for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. <laughs> if you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon the lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. You know, this first track is called Covered. And there's no singing. It's just me speaking into what I believe God is saying for this project. I'm coming from some mess. I've seen some stuff. I've been through some stuff in my life. And a lot of you in this room have been a part of that journey. And so you know some of the mess and some of the stuff that I've been through. And so actually the reason behind why I'm doing a project like this is because I want to speak to someone else who's in a mess right now or someone else who's going through some stuff. And it's not to say that I'm not a mess anymore. Trust me, I'm still a mess but I have freedom in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So right now, under the sound of my voice, I want to speak to anyone who's listening. I want you to know that there's magnificent freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Under his blood, knowing his love, knowing the Father's love, there is freedom, magnificent freedom. And I'm a product of being covered on this journey because in some of that mess I could have been taken out I could have lost my mind but I had grandparents and parents who prayed for me I had saints and brothers and sisters in church who prayed for me I still have people praying for me I have people in this room who pray for me and are praying for me and I believe that I am covered I will be covered in the name of Jesus so I've asked a couple of people to come up and pray because I believe that anything we do should be committed to God and should be covered by him. So I just ask those that I've asked to pray just to come up here and one by one, I just want you to pray whatever God lays on your heart. Just stand in front of this mic and just pray it out. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, you're so good. Father, thank you that you're here. Holy Spirit, you've been here right from the beginning Lord right from uh, the beginning of Josh's life Lord but in this project specifically through the the writing Lord through the through the rehearsals through the practicing Lord through the soaking the time with you God you've been here Lord and we celebrate uh, Josh tonight Lord we celebrate you tonight Lord and we thank you for what you've done in his life and how that manifests into these songs Jesus and Holy Spirit we say have your way Lord I know Josh would say this, that you have full permission to do what you want, to do it how you want. Jesus, you're so good. And Lord, we're looking forward to spending time with you in this atmosphere of worship. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray. Abba, Father, who art in heaven, we love you, we worship you, we glorify your name. Lord, this is all about you. Lord, we come here, Lord, in attitude of worship. And we pray, Lord, we pray for our brother Josh, Lord, and the vision that he's had for this project, Lord. We pray, Lord, that whoever listens to this project, to this album, Lord, you will touch them, you will heal them, and you will deliver them, Lord. Pray, Lord, that this sound, Lord, will go far and wide, Lord. And Lord, whoever hears this sound, Lord, that they will be set free and have magnificent freedom. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for this time we're spending together, Lord. We pray, Lord, that we will just, Lord, decrease and you will increase, Lord. And we just give all honour and praise and worship to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, Lord, we thank you for Josh. We thank you for the man of God that he is, Lord. Father, we thank you for that which you have put in the inside of him, Father. We thank you for this project tonight, God. And that even as he sings, Lord, let your voice sing. And as everybody sings, Lord, may you speak and may you sing. We pray, Lord, that may you amplify this voice, God. And as you amplify this voice, God, there will be freedom, Lord. Father, where there is uh, the presence of the Lord, there is liberty, Father. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, God. Lord, we thank you that anybody that listens to this song, Father, they will receive healing, they will receive deliverance, they will get hope, they will receive peace, and there shall be joy everlasting in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, God, that you are magnificent. Even when we don't feel very magnificent, even when we can't see you, you are magnificent. And I thank you that testimony prophesies. I thank you for Josh's testimony. May these songs prophesy to the dry bones. And we say, bring life, bring life, bring life in the form of freedom, in the form of hope. I thank you that, Jesus, you intercede before the Father on our behalf. So as these words are released over us, as we listen, as we engage, as the depths of our heart cry out, Father, we say, bring freedom. Listen to the many prayers that have gone before. We say, bring freedom. God, you're good. We glorify you. You're magnificent and we love you. I want to introduce you to Anthony Hainsley, my brother. He's going to be bringing the first song. And you know, this song, when I wrote this song, um, I was in some of that mess that I spoke about. But you know what? I was so tired of being sad in my mess. I was so tired of sitting in my mess. I had to get up and I had to. Um, I had to dance in my mess and just ask God to bring freedom even whilst I'm in the midst of the storm. And so it's a bit of juxtaposition going on here because what he's speaking about is pretty deep, but there's a bit of a bop and a vibe to it. So um, yeah, feel free to click your fingers, feel free to get into it and be blessed by this song, Chains. Hallelujah. How are we all feeling? Stand up, clap your hands. out of your will turn my back on the only thing that's real Thought gain the whole world all that satisfied me all my selfish desires 
controlling me Tied myself to my flesh so that I could be free Lord, please help me Free me from these chains Been bound too long, but need you, Lord Free me from these chains Feel all alone, on my own Feed me from these chains Lost so much, I'm holding on to you and not these chains Lord, I'm crying out, let your power fall Free me from these chains Free me from these chains Blessed I am, highly favored by you I'm covered, anointed me too Still I can stepped out of your wheel Turn my back on the only thing that's real Thought I gained the whole world All that satisfied me All my selfish desires Controlled in me Tied myself to my flesh So that I could be free Lord, please help me can sing right wow so yeah the next song ironically I wrote this song um I just got a new keyboard <laughs> that um my brother Colin actually helped to fund uh one of the guys who, who prayed and um as soon as I turned it on the stock sound was this really nice EP sound and I was like this is too nice but again I was still in my mess so I had to somehow put this this really cool sound with, with some really serious words again and so I'm going to introduce my friend Aretha Fontaine here to come and sing for me. Now, Aretha and I, we go back. We go way, 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 way back. Um, 
I've known Aretha since she was very, very young, and we've actually got familial connection as well. And I don't want to give too much away, but when I say that this girl is talented, my gosh, my gosh. And I, again, another shameful plug here, well, shameless plug. Um, <laughs> she's got some music coming out. She's got some music out as well. So feel free to go and search for Aretha Fontaine um, on any of the platforms and you will, you'll get some lovely R&B music and some good vibes. Um, but this track in particular, um, again, it speaks about trying to get some of that freedom. And um, it's actually in a point where I was starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, whilst I was still in my mess, but um, I'd, I'd got to the point now where I'd recognised who my saviour was, and so I was just walking towards him. And so this song is called Freed Me, because it was prophetic whilst I was still in my mess, knowing that I was walking towards the Father, and that there was freedom at the end of that journey. So this is Freed Me. Free me from the chain. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I mean, I feel free just, just, just from hearing that. But I, that voice, that's Holy Spirit right there. I, uh, comes from deep down within. Thank you so much. The next song. Um, yeah, let me introduce him first. This brother right here, I haven't known him very long, but it feels like I've known him as long as I've known everyone else. This brother right here, Fortune. If you know Fortune, give him a round of applause. If you met Fortune today, give him a round of applause. <laughs> this brother similarly has something, a fire deep down in his soul, which he's about to share, but probably more than any of the songs today, this one I wrote, I wrote this one in lockdown, um, but it was a reflection of my lowest point my absolute lowest point. Um, I'm not afraid to say that included considering suicide, that included cutting off everyone around me and feeling like there was just nothing else left, almost giving up on God and just feeling like there was just no hope. And when I wrote it, I couldn't, I knew that I couldn't give it what it needed but as soon as I met this guy, I, I just knew he was a person who could translate and communicate what it was that I was trying to say in that moment. And so it's going to be a bit of a change of pace, but I just want you to just really listen in. I want you to really feel what it is that I'm saying here. And yeah, just receive fortune as he sings, You Pulled Me Out. Thought my life was over Gave my all, had nothing left Never thought I'd see another day Nothing but darkness Nothing but shadows Clouded my judgment my back filled with arrows Enemy prospered Success all around me Kept low by my burning dear Until you found me And pulled me out You pulled me out You pulled me out You pulled me out I was at the brink of death Thought my life was over Gave my all, had nothing left Never thought I'd see another day Nothing but darkness Nothing but shadows Clouded my judgment, yeah. My back filled with a Success all around me Kept low by my burdens That was until, until you found me And pulled me out oh. You pulled me out You pulled me You pull me out Oh, you pull me out Of every mess and every pain 
I'm so grateful that you pulled me out. I'm so grateful that um, <laughs> I'm just so grateful for his grace, for his mercy, <sighs> for breath every day in my lungs, for the opportunity to yes. just worship him, to lift up his name, to give him the glory, to honor him, to magnify his wonderful name. <sighs> I just feel right now, if you're grateful, for the Father pulling you out of some stuff. I just want you to just lift up a praise right now in this place. Father, I praise you. I worship your name. I didn't deserve it, but you pulled me out of that mess that I walked right into. Thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you for your unconditional love, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you. I worship your name, Jesus. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. I worship you. You're worthy, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy to be praised, Father. You're worthy to be praised, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
Yeah. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Father. You're worthy to be praised. You know this next song? It's a song that I wrote a long time ago. Um, and it's, I wrote this song um, after being pulled out and recognizing that there's only one place you go once you've been pulled out and that's into the presence of the Lord. I read Psalm 91 earlier um, and it was, it was speaking in, of that same thing. Um, he that dwells under a shadow, abide on, in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that's just where I want to be, to be honest. I, that's the only place I want to be found it's the only place where there's safety. It's the only place where um, I can really be with him. It's where I can hear from the Father, where I know what he's saying for me um, when he's giving me instruction to not go back in that place where he needs to pull me out again. I mean, I still do it. I still end up back in that place. But but actually in that secret place, it's, it's, it's like a warm hug. It's, it's where he wraps his arms around us and where he lets us know truth, real truth, real word and truth that we are children of the most high God and that vengeance is his and that um, we are covered, we are blessed and highly favoured, that uh, we are loved and we are safe in his arms and I can think of no one better to sing this than my sister and I mean literally my sister. Um, I said I wasn't going to say this but I'm going to say it. Known her since she was a baby in nappies. <laughs> right? And now she's holding a baby. <laughs> And actually also want to shout out her husband, um, Stefan, who is my brother, godfather to my son. Um, these people are true people after God's heart. Um, and I've grown up listening to um, Natalie minister. And that's what it is. It's never for Natalie ever been about performance. It's never been about other people. It's never been about the stage. It's just about pleasing pleasing the father being where he wants her to be and so i'm so grateful for her friendship um i'm so grateful for her and her family and how much they've sown into me and partly the reason why i can even do a project like this is because of how much they've inputted in me and anytime um i wrote anything i would send a voice note over to natalie she'd be like yep let's do it and she'd sing it on a Sunday and she literally would champion anything that I did. So I'm so grateful for her and she's going to be singing today for you in your presence. Oh,
I shall not be moved, God. It's where I want to be. In your presence, my joy is in you, God. I'll rest here with you.
It's where we want to be In your presence Thank you, Jesus <laughs> It's where I want to be, it's where I want to stay <sighs> Thank you, Jesus It's hard to move on, but we're going to stay in the same attitude of worship right now. Many of you know that I released a single late last year, late last year called You Rain. Um, and that was a leap of faith. Um, even in the season that I was in, it's something that I'd written a long time ago and it just was never right. And eventually father was just like, just do it. Just put it out there. It's not about the numbers, it's just about if I bless one person, one person is blessed by this, then it's all worth it. So um, this song was a song written around and about Passover and uh, what we call Easter, uh, where we think back and we reflect on the ultimate price that was paid for our sins. The fact that um, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, stood in the gap, tore the veil, so that we would have access to the Most High Father, Yahweh. And that's what this is about. This is the journey to the cross. But ultimately, we know if you read your Bible or <laughs> if you've ever been to a church service or if you've ever felt the Holy Spirit, you know that ultimately we win and that our Father reigns. So this song is called You Reign. And I've got to introduce again, oh, I, there's probably not words um, <laughs> to explain. This is Sabrina, Sabrina Mitchell, Sabrina Bree Mitchell, um, extraordinaire. I'm going to say some of this stuff, which is not even relevant, but this girl is so talented from a drummer to a keys player to a vocalist to a speaker to a, a mother to just everything, all things, because God has just blessed her. She comes from a powerful family and lineage of great people people um who came over to this country and paved the way for a lot of the churches that we have and again the same could be said um for natalie aretha and all of those who are here but um, i just want to celebrate sabrina she's been on this journey with me from when we used to record music and it didn't sound good um i mean i found some old gems the other day and they were good yeah. sabrina oh, yeah. stuff <laughs> not my stuff <laughs> But back when we just, we just wanted to praise God and put music to it and whatever we came up with, we would just, we would do. And um, I'm just grateful for her, her husband who's playing bass, Elliot, who again, so grateful for him. He plays bass on the original of this and the story goes, Elliot, I'm going to the studio. Can you just run some rough bass for me so that I can just, so the singer can, the vocalist can know what they're doing. Yeah, bro, of course, I got you. Sent it back in maybe half an hour, something like that. Quick ting, one take. That same bass line made it onto the track because this guy is just unreal. And um, anytime I ask him, he's there. I'll be honest as well. This is a shameful one. I asked him to play bass on this project the day before. So he only got asked Thursday night, I think it was. Um, but that's how much these guys have my back. And so... Um, I just want to thank these guys and yeah, can we give them a round of applause? Honestly, just wonderful people of God and absolute family to me. Um, and so, yeah, Sabrina is going to be singing You Rain. I pray that it blesses you. Feel free to join in and especially at the bridge. And if you pick it up, just join in and support us as we sing this. Dove descend 
ascended pure and holy crucified you hung and died you humbly gave your life for mine your body lay but for three days chains now broken now you reign now you reign to the cross all hope was lost the guilt and shame you paid the cost you took the fall to save my soul redeemed from sin and now I'm whole yeah, yeah. Oh, crucified hung and died you humbly gave your life for me
Yeah. Yeah. One thing I didn't get to say was uh, Sabrina also has her own music. I know she's got some stuff coming. She's also part of a group called Rayo Collective, which quite a few of them are in the house. Felicia, Jermaine, Elliot in the house. So again, R-H-E-O? Collective on YouTube if you want to see their worship stuff. It's all on there as well. I want to plug all my friends. They're just amazing and they've all got great stuff out. So um, yeah, please go out and listen. Um, so we're at the final song, guys. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to say it again. I want more R's this time. We're at the final song, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure that makes the recording. Um, this one's special. I mean, all of them are special. <laughs> this one is really special because it's the most recent thing that I've completely written. Um, and it actually came about um, from my first sort of co-write, official co-write. And for any of you who are songwriters who are used to writing on your own, it's really hard sometimes to make the transition to have to write with someone else because usually what you write is quite precious to you. Um, you don't always agree. And often it's really important that you write with people that you trust because you need to firstly be able to be honest about things, but you also need to be able to receive honestly um, whether something needs to be changed or whether something's not right. And um, I would have to say... Um, when I wrote this song with my brother, it was probably the easiest thing I've ever done because he is just an incredible songwriter, an incredible worshipper. And we just, it just worked. And I genuinely can't wait to write some more stuff with him because um, it was just such a pleasure. And more than that, I mean, let me officially introduce him first. This is Andy Flood, guys, okay? He's going to be singing this song um, that we co-wrote. And um, Andy is... Again, known him not that long, only since I've been up here in Bedford. And again, just a brother. We are similar in so many ways. He uh, makes me laugh so much. Anyone who knows Andy, he is very, very funny. Um, sometimes dry humor, sometimes genuine humor. But either way, you're laughing when you're with Andy. And um, he's always had my back. Um, a lot of the choices I've made over the past year or so have been after sitting and chatting to Andy about whether it's the right choice. And I know that I can go on my phone and I can call him when I need some advice and he's got my back. Um, his wonderful wife, Becky, is here somewhere around the room. Um, I'm grateful for her as well because she often loans him to me and gives him the space to be my friend, which <laughs> wives, you know that you have to do that sometimes. Um, so I appreciate you, Becky. There you are over there. Thank you, Becky. She's also my friend as well. She drives a very cool car. Just want to put that out there as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, this song, um, it's called Magnificent. And the bridge um, Andy brought to the session. And I don't know if we knew it was a bridge at first, but it just all came together and it was just so wonderful writing it. And um, I think I don't even think we knew how great it was until we started to actually sing it in front of people. We were like, actually, this song's really, it's got something to it. So for those of you who've heard it um, at King's Arms, please sing along. Others, you will pick it up as you go along. Um, but yeah, I just want to present this final song to you, Magnificent. Join in and enjoy. We're gathered with one purpose, we're here for you. To worship, to honor only. Only you with faces 
is unveiled We're beholding your beauty We're all on our knees In the way of your glory We join with the angels As one mighty chorus Sing worthy, worthy is the Lamb
majesty, all dominion belongs to you. You are high and lifted up. You are king of kings. You are lord of lords. You are Elohim. You are the most high. You are Yahweh. We praise your name. You are worthy to be praised. We lift up your name, Father. We magnify your name, Father. Father, I just pray right now that every person, every soul that hears this song will know that you are magnificent, Father, and worthy of all the praise. I pray that no matter what state someone finds themselves in, that they will know your love, they will know your freedom. They will know your grace and your mercy. I pray, Father, that your hand will be over every person whose ear hears this song right now. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will wash over every single person who listens to this song. I pray that you will meet them at their point of need, that you will pull them out of their mess, that you will you will hold them close and let them know that they are loved. We just want to glorify your name. We just want to praise you and give you all the glory, Father. I just thank you. I just magnify your name. Hallelujah. Singing words Worthy is the Lamb Singing worthy Worthy is the Lamb Singing worthy Worthy is the Lamb With faith
I just want to thank you all for coming tonight. Thank each and every one of you for being in the room tonight. It means more than you can imagine. Um, I try not to cry, but I honestly, you guys are my people. Um, certain people couldn't be here um, for a number of reasons. For those of you who don't know, um, I lost a really close family member um, last week and it's hit my family pretty bad. It's one of the reasons my dad isn't here because he's in Jamaica right now and I'm flying out on Wednesday. And you know what? Just being here with all of you lot made it worth it because there were times when I just didn't want to do it. I wanted to cancel. I wanted to just leave it. But I, I genuinely believe that it was the will of the Father that we push through and we do it today. And I'm just so blessed to have all of you here. Thank you so much. Go and have some more samosas, please. I don't want to take too many home. Um, and yeah, greet each other. For those who've got to go really far, thank you so much for traveling so far. And um, for those of you who can hang out, once we're finished and we pack everything up, we've got to put this auditorium back for church tomorrow. So I would be grateful for any help. Um, but if not, honestly, it's genuinely fine. I appreciate you all so much. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.